I'm here in Wee Wahichka. Doing some cleanup out here. There's an exploded RV back over there. It just, just completely disintegrated. Let me show you something kind of cool here. It's Bobby and Brad down there. So that's, that's roofing material from that shed over there. Huh. I would have thought the paper mill would have come in and cut all these trees and saved all this lumber. It's not worth the manpower to do it, just so it's mangled up, you know, and like you really can't get in there. So I'm down here bringing some hurricane supplies for people who are severely affected by the hurricane, and I wanted to show you all this RV. Now, this is a pretty common sight. This isn't all that uncommon. <laughs> This RV was bought three days before the hurricane hit, Hurricane Michael hit. This RV was three days old. These people were about to retire and move into their RV. And the thing hit, and you just see it exploded right open. This is what RVs look like in hurricanes. Here's the actual trailer frame, as you can see. He's over there trying to get a tree off his van. But So the actual trailer was lifted up. You can see under it. These are the leveling jacks here. You know, I don't know what this thing would have weighed, probably five tons, I'm certain. Just the sheer power of, of the wind. Um, not only did it flip it on its side almost, but just opened it up like a like a can of tuna, you know? It's completely stripped the frame. This is a fifth wheel camper. So here's the front obviously, and here's the side, so here's the, the roof. This is the back door. This would have been where you would have uh, dropped the back door as a ramp or something like that for ATVs to roll up on or golf carts to roll up on. This was a really nice camper. RV. Just crazy, the devastation. So the wind was coming from that direction primarily. And just, you can see it just rolled this thing over and just cleaned it out. Here's the uh, slide out. Like I said, this is a common sight in this area. This was pretty much, it was one mile below a Cat 5 hurricane. This is what it did. What's really sad is when you see people's primary residences like this, and I'm not gonna film any of those because that's really disrespectful. Most people are just, Completely devastated and when they have like a single wide trailer and they're living in it and they don't have insurance for it it's very common but fortunately this was just someone's recreational vehicle and um, they did have insurance on it
Here's another slide out. Still trying to wrangle that tree off his van. So we're just down here helping out, bringing some supplies down, and doing some work. A lot of work to be done. It's going to take years to get these people back to normal. Side of the road. That's crazy. But all that was houses. And this is something else that I didn't know. See how everything is turned brown out there? Mm -hmm. Within three days of the time that salt water came in, that had all died. Oh yeah, the salt water. But those houses, that's the... Oh yeah, they're just blown back there into the trees, huh? These little stores completely blown all the way through the back walls, blew off of them. sandblast out there but you can you, you see no houses at all now there used to be houses out there yes there was big houses along the like uh beach houses and stuff huh. 